Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to Scarland, a land where we take survival building to the extreme. And we're here at the Scarred Ranch house building project, getting ready to work on some fun things that you can add to your very own ranch style house. But before we do that, we gotta do a little terraforming. So let's hit super fast terraform mode. super fast terraforming mode and as you can see we got this area nearly all the way terraformed we still need to add some custom trees but i'm kind of low on leaves so we will definitely work on getting some leaves in the meantime but what we're going to be building is some custom kind of accessories for a ranch and when i think of a ranch i think of you know like we built back here was something for horses carriages wheat but also water towers and windmills and i've worked out some pretty awesome designs i hope you guys are excited about today now for the windmill, we're actually going to build it in a different spot than I had planned. So this area out here is going to eventually become an amazing field for cows. But we don't actually have any of this area fully terraformed yet. So where the windmill is actually going to go now is going to be up here. It's going to be at about that height. So I need you guys to trust me. OK, do you guys trust me in the comments? Please let me know if you trust me that this will be beautiful. I, I assure you that that will be beautiful. We will build it up in the air like that and it will be floating. It's like a UFO windmill, but we eventually terraform and blow it and I think it'll look really, really nice. But we're going to start with our water tower and this is our water tower design here. So we're going to start with a really skinny base and it's going to be somewhat similar to the one we're going to build on Hermitcraft. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I've posted a couple pictures of a water tower that's themed for steam trains. This is more uh, themed for ranch living. So as you can see, we have this arranged like so and then we have this kind of little spout pipe that goes straight up there for the water to come down, I suppose. I'm not an expert in water mills and stuff like that. So um, I think, excuse me a little slime. I, I can't place the block if you're going to be doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to take this design all the way up about nine blocks and I'll see you at the top. All right, and welcome to the top here. So we made up a little platform. These pillars here are at exactly 10 blocks and then I added a little milk chocolate on the top here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these blocks on either end like so and we're going to jump down and we're going to push them out about two blocks or so like a so and look at that view out there doesn't that look stunning look at those mountains oh i absolutely love it i wish we had the dramatic skies that we have in the hermit pack now i tried to install them here and it just wouldn't work the sun worked oh hello my block placement's very poor today um the sun worked but the clouds didn't work it was super disappointing so maybe in the next uh, scarland episode we'll have those dramatic skies uh, which I think would be excellent in here. I think they would look really cool behind those mountains. And as you can see, we're just adding these blocks going across here like that. All right, so the next phase, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these guys and, hmm, how do we want to do this? I think something like, hmm, I think something like this could be really cool. So we're just going to bring these guys out here like that, and bring them around. Now, in our last episode, we had some great discussion about llamas. I, I love looking at the llama chat. Um, the video went up a little bit before I woke up. Um, I had to go up pretty early. And when I jumped on, there was there was about 50 or so comments. It had been up for about 30 to 40 minutes. And everything was llama discussion. And I love that. I, lo I love a little llama discussion. So as you can see, we didn't have this little platform built up like so. And this is this is kind of tricky. You can kind of find wherever you kind of feel like it's a good position. So find the center and then start kind of building out like this and kind of start feeling out a way of creating a circle. So the best way you can do it is the best way. 
Does that make any sense? Um, there's no real right or wrong way. It's just how you feel a circle would be in Minecraft. And if it doesn't look good, you can always tear it down or step back for a little bit and take a look from a distance. But like I was saying about llamas, we were trying to think if we wanted to create a llama barn within our existing horse structure. Now, overwhelmingly, you guys were like, we cannot give the llamas a hand-me-down barn. And I agree. I agree. So we're not going to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to theme. I have a really beautiful idea for a theme for a llama barn, and I want to run it by you guys and let you kind of decide if it's something you guys like or want to see here in Scarland. So I was thinking llamas to me, llamas and things of that nature. Um, I think of them almost as like animals like climbing mountains, like bringing like, you know, cargo up mountains and I was looking at some absolutely stunning pictures of Tibet. I was looking at Expedition Everest at Animal Kingdom. And I follow an Imagineer on Instagram and Twitter. His name is Joe Rohde. And he's always pitch picturing. He's always taking pictures of beautiful things in those countries. He travels there quite often for, um, you know, different projects and things like that. And just because he loves the, the place. He just loves Tibet and those types of countries out there. And I'm just going to add another row of stairs right here. It just wasn't quite my thing. So I'm just going to push this out just a little more, just so it has a little extra room. And I think that'll look very, very nice. And I was thinking, what if we built something like that up in the mountains? So something, think of like if you've been to Animal Kingdom, which I've never actually been to, think of Exhibition Everest. I've seen so many videos and pictures, something like that. But for a llama barn, like that's where the llamas live on the side of a mountain. Um, I think that would just be stunning. I think we could build something very, very beautiful. I'm looking for my way down. Oh, there's my way down. And uh, yeah, so that's what I was thinking in between our last episodes. And I wanted to run that by you guys and think, uh, wh what do you think about that? Something like built up there, maybe a like a monk monastery or not a monk monastery, but something that's like a like a, a trailhead or a base camp, maybe a base camp. That's it. A base camp. Something for people who are going mountain climbing or something along those lines. Let's think about that in the comments. Give me some thoughts on that. Excuse me, we are having a conversation here and you're just interrupting me. Wow, the nerve of that skeleton right there. Anyway, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? It needs a couple more details. So let me think about it and see what we can add to it. And welcome back and look at our beautiful water tower. Absolutely stunning. I believe that is a really cool structure for a water tower. Now, if you don't like any of the particular colors of the woods or the particular shape of the kind of the tank at the top, you can swap that out for other materials like maybe acacia. That's the one we're going to use for Hermitcraft. And, you know, maybe you want to use oak or maybe you want to use acacia for actually the structural blocks of it, you know, the, the posts and the ground. You know, I think that would look really nice, too. So either way, but the general style of the structure, the way it's all arranged, I think looks really nice. And it's very convincing. When you look at that, you're like, yeah, that is a water tower looking amazing. So it is time to start working on our next project. And like I said before, I need you to trust me. I need you to trust me that this will be amazing, even though it's built on a floating platform because the terraforming hasn't been 100% uh, mapped out in my head yet. So that's why I'm going to build it up there. And then from there, we can build cliffs and maybe even a little waterfall. Who knows? But uh, our generally, we're going to start with this. And I think it's going to be wonderful. Now, you might be noticing, Scar, why do you have an iron pickaxe in your inventory? Where is your fancy diamond enchanted super axe? Well... Fortunately, is lost, probably lost for good, and I don't know where it is, and it makes me quite sad, but eventually we'll find it, and also, eventually we're going to terraform this whole area, and it's going to look super awesome, but let me get prepped for this next build. All right, and welcome to the Floating Tower of Awesome. That's right, we've coined this area the Floating Tower of Awesome, and we need to have full trust, okay, because this is going to be awesome, it's going to look ugly to start with, but it'll take us time. So what we have now is a nine by five. So what I've done, placed down a block and went all the way down to here is nine by five to there. And look at our water tower over there. Just think of this little section right here. Look how nice it looks. And eventually that'll spread throughout the entire region, which will be really cool. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to start bringing these up to about three blocks like so. Then we're going to swoop over here and we're going to do the same like this. So I think this will be pretty cool. So let's just take kind of a little look at this and I've already considered moving it down. That's right. I had the idea and then I'm like, no, we're not going to do that. Turns out 
Turns out, no, there we go. So we're gonna put that right there and there. And I think that's what we're going to do. And then give me a little scaffolding and let's work our way back up. So I wanna talk a little bit more about our llamas. So what I've been thinking about is either at this mountain range or the one over by the roller coaster, we're going to build kind of a base camp, okay? So think of it as a base camp that uh, maybe going up on Everest or something along those lines. And it, in Minecraft world, if you're gonna go up your big old mountain or something along those lines, you know what you're gonna need? Oh, you don't know? You're gonna need a llama. That's right, you're gonna need a llama. So we're gonna build like a mountain climbing base camp. And it's going to be themed kind of in that uh, kind of a Tibetan style, which is so absolutely beautiful. Uh, my aunt's actually traveled there many times. And so she has a ton of that stuff in her house. So I'm very kind of familiar, at least with seeing a lot of that stuff from her travels and things. And uh, so I think that would be absolutely beautiful of something that we can do. And I think it would be something different, really, really different and just absolutely amazing. So in the comments, let me know. Let me know if that's something that appeals to you and it's something that you would want to see as a build. I think it could be fun. Um, and yeah, I know it's not going to happen like right now or tomorrow or something like that. It's going to probably be in a little while, maybe maybe in December. I think that might be a really good time because it's going to be cold and I think snow and all that stuff will definitely be something on our minds. So maybe it would be something fun at that time to do it uh, because we just have a few more projects here to finish up at the ranch, there we go. All right, so that is the base. Reminds me of like a Skyrim build at this point, but it's not going to be, but uh, this looks good. So give me a couple seconds here. Let me slip this nano away and I'll see you in just one moment. All right, and welcome back. And I've made a couple modifications while you were gone. It was getting a little high. So what I've done is I removed one of the sections of three. So now we have two, three sections and then one, four. So that's the difference that I made to try to bring it down just a little bit in height. And what that allowed us to do was have a slight extra space in the center, which gives us a little room to make this really cool kind of ranch brand design. I think that came out really cool. So if you look really close, you can see this wood and look at how clean, so very shiny and modern looking, looking very, very nice. And the reason being is I just cleaned it off, smoothed off the wood. I got off some of the like the darker like lines in the wood in my texture pack and I think it looks really good. So let me send here some feedback on it. Is it something you guys like? Because the texture pack is going to be available for download at the beginning of November. I just have a few more little touches to do here and there with the end rod. And other than that, uh, I really wanted 3D textures. That's why it took so long, but I never had the time to really get into it and make some more 3D textures, but maybe that'll come in version three. But uh, there we go. I'm happy with the way the base looks. So give me some time. Let me think about how the center piece will be that will connect to the uh, the wind spinny bumba bob or whatever it's called. You know, the thing that spins the turbine, the fin. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And remember when I told you to trust me, I know this looks like a rocket ship but eventually it's gonna be amazing. Look at those skeletons, they're like, oh, this is awesome. But uh, I think that'll be really cool. Once we get the top up there and the mountain built up around it, that'll be a real focal point of the entire build. So let's head up to the top there and take a look at the progress. So what we have here is five and a half blocks. So as you can see, that's a half a block there. So half a block and then five blocks going upwards. Now I was experimenting with a little bit of milk chocolate, like I said, let me know what you think, if the entire thing should be milk or dark or maybe something in between. So I think that looks decent. Um, so what we need to do now is do another five and a half. So I did another five and a half going upwards and this is where we're gonna start working. So let's jump up here and what we're gonna build here is we're gonna take out this guy right here. So we're just gonna take out just a little bit of dark chocolate stairs and go outward. Oh, Ah, my block placement is so amazing. <laughs> I just struggle, I struggle. You know, five, six years later, I still struggle with these things. They're tough, aren't they? <laughs> so I'll put these over here like that. Looking good, my friends. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting out some stone. And it turns out I don't have any stone on me. So I'm gonna take out my imaginary elytra and I'm gonna fly down and get some. And welcome back to the top of the world. And I was just imagining life with an elytra. Just a life here in Scarland with an elytra would be quite an amazing experience. Maybe someday, maybe someday. So that is, let's see. So one block in the center and then three blocks on either end here, I think will look absolutely amazing. So let's jump down and kind of take a look at that. So as you can see, the wind, of course, you gotta remember if you're making a certain wind direction, the windmill is going to face a particular direction. So 
We're just gonna have it face this way. I think it'll look really cool because we don't have any really specific way the wind is blowing in the world. So I think this will be perfect. So I'm gonna put down just a little block right there and we're gonna do the bottom section in just a minute. It's gonna be a little easier to do the top here. So I'm just gonna make just a smidge bit more scaffolding and I also brought a bed. You see that? I got a mobile bed set up and ready to roll. So we got that built up like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect that like so. And then let's see, that's one block upwards. So then I'm gonna place one more here and I'm gonna smooth it off with a half slab like that. And I'm gonna back up one more block and then I'm gonna do one on the end as kind of a fin with a half slab there and there. Look at that. Oh, I think that looks really, really cool. So let's back down here and look at that. Yes, once we get the bottom section done, ho ho ho. I think that's gonna be really cool. So hmm, this area just could use just a smidge of help here. How about we do something like this and then a block like that. So then we do the same over here. And I think that actually might look really, really snazzy. So that is the fin on the back. And I think that looks really cool. So as you can see up in the front here, trying to come up with kind of a circular pattern that will be the fan blades, the turbine blades, I guess, or whatever it's called, I guess. I don't know, what, what's this part of the kind of a wind turbine or um, let's see what I'm trying to think of, like just a windmill, like what's that actually called? Just the blades, I guess, who knows? So as you guys can see, we're trying to kind of figure that out. So what I've been thinking is we're gonna start using some cobblestone half walls or whatever these are called also we're gonna put those right there and then we're gonna push these guys on either end here and look at all the mobs these are totally like the mob danger fields <laughs> this is almost more dangerous than ren dog's base on hermitcraft that that literally ren dog's base it's so beautiful and amazing but at night it's the walking dead set that's right that is actually fun fact where they film the walking dead so let's see, I'm trying to figure this out. So what if, just just work with me here. That's a lot of building inspectors down there. Look at Bob, the building creeper inspector, keeping an eye on things. Ah, I don't like him keeping an eye on things, to be honest with you. So we're gonna put that like that and something like this. This, this, this could be cool, this could be cool. So let's do that on this side real quick and let's just see how that potentially can come out. So this and then two blocks on that side looking good i'm feeling good about this i'm feeling good about this so then we're going to place another one right there and then boom in a biome and then let's take that and put that right there oh look at all the <laughs> there's so many mobs down there it is totally giving me the creeps so hmm so what if we did something like this what's let's cut you off i i don't want you i'm sorry no offense there we go put that right there and then what if we went boom and you guessed it biome so put that like that connect that like so Hmm, there's just something here that I haven't quite, oh, that's it, that's it right there, bam, like that. There it is, that's the design, we did it. Success, hype in the chat. <laughs> it's not It's not Twitch time yet, it is Saturday. We will have Twitch to hype, but not at the moment. That is the design, that is the design. So if you're following along, screenshot that because that is going to be the design. Actually, let me do something real quick here, put a little magic, magic right there, bam. So that right there is what we're going to do. So let me just loop that all the way around. Stop it, stop it. These slimes, these slimes have been trying to kill. Oh shoot, he, he backed me in the corner. He backed me into the corner. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've had nothing but trouble with slimes. Gigantic slimes backing me into corners, sneaking up on me. Oh man, you little, mm. anyway, look at our amazing wind turbine. It is absolutely amazing oh i love it or windmill or whatever it is but uh oh i think it's really cool like i said you guys gotta trust me on this this will look a lot better once we get the terraforming we get some trees some mountains some rocks all sorts of wonderful things built up around it but i think the base is definitely there for something really cool and hopefully you guys like that and of course our water tower over here looking absolutely stunning and hopefully this gave you some fun ideas for extra little accessories just to brighten up and add some more theme and some more story to your builds. And it's always important to think that extra mile in Minecraft when you're building is not just to build a barn, not just to build a house, but to really theme it, to really add those extra details. And yeah, so my friends, thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed today and got some inspiration, like I said, for some extra little details in your build. And until next time, it's been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later.